An earlier video in the playlist showed the following animation for the assignment of a value to a variable. We took this program statement here, which says first number is assigned to, and what will happen is Python will generate an area which I model with this rectangle here and give it the name first number. This assignment statement resulted in the two being copied into the variable first number, which we can animate here as showing the two moving into the variable first number. So there's the variable. This is the identifier, and this here is the value that's stored in the identifier. Now this is a model animation of the workings under the hood of Python. It does not actually work in this way, however. If we look closely and see what actually happens, it's not as straightforward as would at first appear. Although, for all intents and purposes, you can think of it as being like this. You can think of it in this way. It won't cause you problems for many, many applications. But I think it is useful to know what's going on under the hood of Python, and it'll stand you in good stead when you look at object-orientated programming a little later in the playlist that I'm producing here for beginners to the Python 3 language. Let's have a look at this statement again. First number is assigned to. Now when this executes, what I like to think of is something I refer to as an execution space, which we can see here. Now this execution space essentially is the computer's memory that's populated with variables and something called objects by the central processing unit. And of course, first number is assigned to generates two things, as we'll see in a moment. It generates something called an object reference and it generates something referred to as an object. So when this program statement executes, what we will see is this, where the rectangular box is going to be the object reference and the circle is going to be the object. Now the object reference is given the same name as the variable first number. So we can see that this is the object reference and over here we have the object. So those are created by this first program statement first number is assigned to and the two is copied to the core of the object now this object will be somewhere in the computer's memory and as high-level language programmers we don't know where it is and frankly we don't care we just know it's somewhere in the computer's memory or if you like somewhere in this execution space and the python language takes care of this for us the interpreter does this job for us but we need to know where it is, or should I say the object reference needs to know where it is. And I'm modeling this with an arrow in the sense that the object reference points to where the object is in the execution space. And what will happen is this pointing to the location of the object results in this appearing here. And this is the object reference and object being bound together. So conceptually, what we can see here, we have an object reference and we have an object and they are bound by this line that I've joined them together with. So for this pretty straightforward program statement, first number is assigned to, we can see under the hood of Python, a few things went on. We created an object reference and an object. The object actually stores the value of two and we bind the object reference and the object together. In other words, the only way in which we know where the object is, is to go via the object reference, which contains the pointer to the object. So the variable, in a sense, and in fact more than in a sense, is the variable. But in fact, it contains the address of where the object is in the execution space. Check out the supporting website for these videos and consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. You'll get an automatic update every time I upload a new video on Python.